know, two of them were not sure if it's maybe a bit of food poisoning they've picked up at the, the training ground or whether it was at the hotel. Uh, one of them, as I said, we think it's a virus. Hi, David. How you you'd, uh, you'd made it so hard for City in the first half and did so well. How, how frustrating was it to concede a, oh. to a set piece? To concede a set piece was galling because, uh, as you said, uh, we had done a we'd done a really good job for uh, for long periods and we were going to have to do it again. So we gave the ball away on the left hand side. They broke. We gave away a free kick and maybe tonight we're just a little bit we didn't have the stature maybe what we've had in in other games tonight. So it was always going to be a little bit short for us, but uh, disappointing the goal we lost because it's. It was a poor one to lose against a side who can score some some great goals, and uh, you know that was a poor poor one for us. Hi, David. Um, what happened with uh, Declan Thompson, Mayf, and how 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 far before the game did you know there was a problem, and when did you have to make? Well, I knew in the morning that they they they'd been sickness, and uh, one of them would with a really high temperature, so. So I ha one of them had to go away at 11 o'clock and the other two left at 2 o'clock today. Uh, once we, we you know, they weren't getting any better, we'd given them a chance in the morning to recover, sleep longer, see how they were. They were in Manchester with us, uh, with the rest of the team. So we, we had to send them away in, in cars later this afternoon to, to go home. I mean, I mean, I mean hope they're going to be OK for Sunday. We've got matches coming out. Well, I've got to hope that they are. You know, two of them were not sure if it's maybe a bit of food poisoning they've picked up at the training ground or whether it was at the hotel. Uh, one of them, as I said, we think it's a virus. Uh, so whether, I don't know, I'm not a doctor, whether antibiotics fix that quickly or how you work it, I'm not too sure. So hopefully that they'll, they'll have a chance for the weekend. But I think the biggest thing I would say, I'd have to praise the players who came in and done such a good job. They, for long periods against a really good team, we we made it quite difficult. Our second goal, when you look at it as well, it's probably the first time we let the we let the game get opened up for Howland to run behind. You know, and we gave the ball away ourselves, played up, and it was dropped off, and they get a chance to get through. And the third goal was a deflection. So all in all, uh, it's not a, it, no, it's not a good result. Performances at this time of the year do they matter? Certainly not as much as they do earlier on. But I still think if you're having good performances, then it tends to lead to good results. So let's hope we can we'll get a few good results to come. Hi, David. Um, Vladimir Sufal, obviously, he was forced off just after the hour mark. So what what was his issue? Since he felt his hamstring. So we're we're not sure. We'll get him scanned in the morning. We'll see how he is. And um, on the three you mentioned with illnesses, did you have any others that were in the squad that weren't a hundred percent, or is it just those? No, there was another staff member had the same had sickness as well. So uh, that. So that's why we were worried that it was either maybe something that was a bug or, or food poison. We weren't sure what it was. Hi, David. Hi. Um, David, as I reflect on the past month or so, individual... Say that again, sorry. As I reflect on the past month or so, um, individual errors have sort of um, been a, a regular theme. I'm just wondering, how concerned are you about that? Well, I think football clubs will always have individual errors. It tends to be the way collective ones... Uh, it's better when they're collective because you can work on it and try and get them right together. But yeah, there has there was a couple of individual errors which you know we we didn't defend the cross into the, the back post well enough and uh, Aki gets a goal and you know the first the second one we you know we give it away when we were in good position you know uh, so yeah. they're they're the third one you can't do much about you know the boy takes a great volley but it takes a deflection yeah. you know so. Yeah, but I think individual errors are part of it, but too many this year, I agree with that. Um, just now, Pep praised West Ham's defensive structure. I guess that first half performance gives you a lot of uh, encouragement moving forward. Yeah, I wish he was, I wish he was praising, you know, that uh, we're attacking play as well, but I couldn't say that. I would say that our defensive structure was really good today, but we're attacking play when we got the ball and, and when we had it had to be much better to, to cause them enough problems. Uh, we didn't cause them enough very, very minimal problems, to be honest. But the other side of it, we we done or we tried to do as good a job as we could. You know, you've got to remember Bayern Munich have been here and you know been turned over. Arsenal, who are a great team, have been here and turned over. So I don't think you you can kid yourself on that. You can just turn roll up here and and 
without any any structure to what you do. And I have to say, I thought the players in the main done, who were in tonight, done a really good job.